adjustment of the whole game. I gotta do something. It'll go start flashing lights and it'll start to back and fill, back and fill until it works the air out of the system. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Ken Anderson with Takeo Company, and this afternoon we're going to chat a little bit about our VR1816 uh, in a combination uh, of display here that we have with our Zones Entry circulators. Uh, we happen to include a, a 4900 and one of our ZVCs. The purpose of this display is to show the, uh, the ability of the VR18 to compensate for zone valves as they open and close. And instead of, as a zone valve that opens and closes, to over pump the zones that are now open as one closes, the VR1816 will compensate and actually drop down its speed and go to a lower wattage consumption, use less power than it had been if, if um, normally you would try to over pump those zones. Um, that's in constant pressure mode. In constant speed mode, which you're usually typically using for a uh, zone by circulator setup. And I'll take us over to the zone century. In the zone century area here, uh, I know this is a visual and, and, and sound uh, video. In this one, we actually have the, uh, the uh, sense of touch em employed here as well. Here we're showing our zone century compared to some of our competitors in, in the uh, zone valve area. And you can see there's a digital readout showing the watts consumed by these different zone valves. You could also, if you were able to touch it, you could see that this ambient temperature is probably oh, close to 90 to 100 degrees. This is uh, you know, probably closer to whatever the room temperature is in this room. Uh, you could put a dozen of these these zone centuries on one 24 volt transformer. Typically these can only operate on it with about with a 24 volt transformer, three or four possibly zone valves on it. Uh, as we continue our chat about high efficiency equipment from Taco, we'll look at our Viridian line of circulators. The, the VR line uh, 15 through 25 uh, basically has a pumping range as you can go as high as 370 gallons a minute at close to 40 feet of head. Um, out of the box these circulators consume half the electrical consumption of a traditional circulator in this size and then when you put the software or um, logic to, uh, to, these, to these circulators to look at the system uh, hydraulics you'll drop even more efficiency on the circulator drop to lower efficient more efficiencies here as we go down we continue the, Vir the Viridian line this is our VR 35 3550 uh, yes 3550 and this will uh, the designation of 35 is feet of head 50 gallons a minute this circulator will also take a 0 to 10 signal it has the ability to work in um, pressure differential mode it could work in fixed speeds as well. This circulator, continuing on our high efficiency ECM line, is the VT2218. This circulator um, gets you exactly the same half the uh, energy consumption right out of the box as the other circulators do, but when we want to apply logic to it, we apply the logic via temperature, and we'll use uh, the delta T uh, capability of this circulator. So we'll apply a, a supply and return sensor onto the system and the pump will actually change its speed based on the need for it to either increase speed or decrease speed to lock in the 20 degrees say delta T that we put in. When we do that we allow the pump to deliver the BTUs that it's asking in, within the system heat emitters so we're getting rid of all the BTUs we can and we're coming back with a lower water temperature. It's very, very helpful when you're using a condensing equipment as well. And here we have the VR1816. This is a, a pressure differential circulator that has the capabilities to um, change itself in speed to match uh, as zone valves open and close in the system. Thank you.